now deductions from cosine rule. So, let us have a dis discussion on the deductions from the law of cosines. So, we know that we know that in any triangle ABC that means with the usual notation triangle ABC in triangle ABC A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2 BC cos A. Bring minus 2 BC cos A this side A square that side. 2BC cos A is equal to B square plus C square minus A square. What is cos A? Cos A is equal to B square plus C square minus A square by 2BC. So, we can deduce like this. Similarly, cos B is equal to very simple to write here c square add on plus a square add on opposite is b so minus b square c a 2 c a can you write the cos c value yes cos c is equal to a square plus b square minus c square a into b into 2 2 a b so we can deduce from the cosine rule so, with the help of the cosine rule, the angles of the triangle can be evaluated even though the triangle is not right angle triangle. So, and also we can find out the greatest angle and the least angle in the triangle also we can find out with the help of the cosine rule. So, next we know that this is the area of the triangle ABC delta. So, now here one proof let us consider A, B, C draw A D perpendicular say this height H this will be opposite A. Okay, now from this triangle, first this is the small c, this will be small b. Let us define sin b. Sin b is equal to here h by c. So, h is equal to c sin b, you can write it. Height or altitude, that is h is equal to c sin b. So, if you want to find out area of this triangle of base into height here of base is BC and height is AD of times base is A and AD is H. Now this H can be replaced by this C sin B of into a into c sin b. So, this is nothing but of c a sin b. Similarly, we can prove delta is equal to of a b sin c of b c sin a this also we can throw and one more thing further deductions also we can form from this area of the triangle delta see now as we know that delta is equal to anything you can take it of a b sin c just recall the cosine rule from the cosine rule we have a is equal to 2 r sin a 
b is equal to 2r sin b. So let us replace a by 2r sin a, b by 2r sin b. So this is equal to half into 2r sin a into 2r sin b into sin c. This 2, 2 gets cancelled. So let it be simplified. 2r into r, 2r square sin a, sin b and sin c. This also one of the formula for delta. So let us deduce one more formula for the delta. Consider same thing. Delta is equal to half a b sin c. See from sin rule c is equal to 2 r sin c. The sin c is equal to c by 2 r. So it is replaced by c by 2 r. So half a b into c by 2 r. This is equal to a b c by 4 r. Delta is equal to a b c by 4 r. Here one more interesting formula. We can write r is equal to a b c by 4 delta. Circum radius can be calculated using this formula. So this is r is equal to a b c by 4 delta. One more formula we have for delta is Heron's formula. S into s minus a, s minus b and s minus c. 